morning everyone. So we've got another early start today. Uh, it's about 10 to 6 in the morning. Um, down at Limeburners Point boat ramp uh, in Geelong. Hopefully the next few weeks I'm going to try and do a Geelong Corio Bay special uh, starting at the most eastern point that you can launch from which is Lime Burners and hopefully finishing in probably the northernmost point you can launch from on the inner harbour which is Avalon. We're going to talk you through um, the different places you can fish in Geelong. Uh, going to be a range of species that we're going to target throughout this video series. Uh, hopefully today we can get on to maybe some snapper, um, maybe some flathead. Uh, it is fairly windy this morning. Um, I'm going to give it a crack anyway. But anyway, I'm going to get the kayak set up. I've got to wait till sun comes up and we'll launch the yak. And it will get stuck in. <coughs> yep, Penny Ampere and Geelong over in the background there. Now, we've just gone across a school of fish, and that is a decent school of fish actually. Let's see if we can pick something up. We're in 6.8 metres of water at the moment. Uh, lure of choice first up this morning is the Savage Gear Curltail Grub in motor oil. I think the wind's currently sitting between five and 10 knots. I pretty much just want to show you guys at home Geelong, Corio Bay, um, and what you can catch out here. Yes, first fish. Oh, he's gone. Nuts. I'm using a heavier jig head than I would normally use today. Only because of the drift. I want to make sure I'm sitting on the bottom. They're definitely there. So I can't hook the bloody thing. Oh, I got that one. Yes. First fish of the morning. It's fighting like a pinky. And I'm going to say it is a pinky. Yep, sure is. One. He's definitely undersized, this one. But, first fish of the morning. Hook straight through the bottom jaw. And he's taking the tail off me plastic. There you go guys, first fish of the morning. I'd say he'd be 26 centimetres to the tip of the tail. Anyway, good start. All right guys, jig head I'm using. I'm using a quarter ounce jig head. It's a jiggle fishing bullet jig head. Uh, that last pinky took the tail clean off the plastic. Rig another one. There's a little grub on there. As usual, don't forget the shrimp gel. Right, smear that in. Alright, let's get stuck in and catch another one. And there's a school going underneath me right now. Bottom. I don't know if I can pick that up or not. What are we going to do? Let it hit the bottom. Now I'm just going to jig it up and down. Well, there's a good school underneath me. Some high in the water column, too. Let's see if we can come across them. Another school just went underneath me. Yep, 
this. That's a good fish. That could be a bit better than the other one. little bit better this fish I might get the net out just in case I think it's a pinky it's it's sort of fighting like one oh, it is oh, it's a good pinky it's definitely legal this one I'm get it too fast too hard with it not ready yet. That's what we wanted. Legal size fish. Yes. That's a cracker, that one. First legal pinky in that long, I can't remember. Now I am coming out here for a feed, so this is coming home with me. There you go. Gotta be happy with that. And there's another school underneath. Water temps 18 degrees out here at the moment. Uh, it's almost eight o'clock. Low tide, I think, is about 9.30 in the morning, I think. Um, so we'll fish to a low tide and oh, missed him again. And see how we go from there, see where we're at. I'm hoping to knock over a couple of different spots around the bay each time I come out. Um, but it's going to be weather dependent. Oh, I missed him. That was a good fish. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, yeah. Stay connected. Oh, yeah, that's a good fish. Good fish. As I was saying, I want to do a couple of different, different places in the bay per day that I come out. Um, as I said, weather dependent. Hopefully I can get a couple of spots done. I'm looking at, depending on how we go here, I wanna head over to North Shore. Um, problem being, the wind's gonna be blowing straight at me out there. Um, I'm also gonna do a couple of land-based spots as well. Oh yeah, that's a good fish. I'm gonna lose that one. Oh yeah, biggest fish of the morning. Oh, stay connected, stay connected. Yes. Good fish that one, real good fish. That was one of the ones that came through on the sounder, no doubt. There you go guys, look at that one. Cracker pinky. Uh, that'd be close to 40. Got to be close to 40. Anyway. Oh, a little flatty. There you go. mixed bag today guys and that I'm pretty sure uh, looks like a rock flatty I reckon uh, might be a bar tail no I reckon that's a rock flathead it's a lot slender than what we've been catching up at Campbell's Cove be a rock flathead only because it's so thin whereas the uh, sand flathead and bar tailed flathead we've been catching up at Campbell's Cove a lot thicker a lot thicker set a lot of a bigger head too 
Anyway, I'll dispatch him. A little bit of a drift through here with the little little plastic. So I've just gone to Savage Gear Pro Grub again, just a smaller size because that's what I had sitting around. And that fish will be from that school that I've seen, no doubt. As you can see out here, this is probably the most productive way to fish. You just want to drift around. You're going to come across the schools. This guy does not want to come in. Not a little baby one. That can go in there. He's absolutely engulfed that plastic. There you go guys, another healthy little pinky. Back down to the most productive way to fish out here. Definitely to drift around. Um, you can head into the channel. All the boats are flying past me and going out to the channel, which is out there off Point Henry. If it wasn't, if conditions weren't the way they are, I'd probably head out there too. But I'm having too much fun here. Another little pinky. There you go, guys. Another nice little pinky. Off he goes to join his mates again. Probably going to end on this drift and then probably head around to another spot. Yes, fish on. That's a good fish. I don't know what that is. Not doing much. That's a really good fish, that one. He's not fighting at all. And that's exactly what I thought it was. Big flatty. Yes, beauty. Not a big flatty, but good enough. There you go, guys. Nice little sand or bar tail flathead. You can tell it's a bar tail. You've got the bars on the bottom of the tail there where the duskies have just one big black spot. Nice little flathead from Geelong, from Corio Bay, down at Longburners Point. Eddie. What have we got? Four hours in the water. Um, this is going to be the first of a few videos in a series uh, featuring Corio Bay and the Geelong waterfront. Um, I'm going to be fishing off some piers, some jetties, some rock walls, um, pretty much all around Geelong, uh, just to showcase what Geelong has to offer fishing wise. I hope you enjoyed the first instalment of the series. Uh, this is this has been Lime Burners Point. Um, we're going to be targeting different species. We're going to be using different techniques, soft plastics, bait. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, please like and subscribe. Every subscription helps. Um, I'm almost at 300. Anyway, until next time, guys. See you on the water. Cheers.